when it comes to choosing a cloud hosting provider or even a website builder, there are tons of different options to choose from. There are tons of different competitors in an ever growing market, but in today's video, I wanna focus on two that are in my opinion, very interesting and worth looking at as valuable competitors that you could choose from. Those two competitors are Hostinger and DigitalOcean. These are two incredibly popular choices that have started to gain quite a bit of traction over the last couple of years in cloud hosting and website building technology. In this specific video, we're gonna be going over every single thing that you need to know, whether it's their features, their price points, ease of use, and how advanced they are in their technology. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid idea of which of these two website services is right for you. I'll also mention too that if you want to get started with either of these services, make sure to use the links down in the description box below in order to get the best possible deal and get potential offers and discounts. But without further ado, let's talk about our first competitor here, Hostinger. When it comes to website hosting and even website building, Hostinger has really carved out a solid foothold in this market. We've seen it time and time again continue to get a strong position in this market as a very valuable service when it comes to the features that it has. It's super easy and intuitive to use and has a ton of great features when it comes to web hosting and even building your own website. If you guys are curious about getting started with Hostinger and getting an amazing discount all at the same time, you should probably follow the next steps I'm about to show you. What you first want to do is head down to the description box of this video and click the link in order to get started with Hostinger. Once you've clicked that link, you'll then be taken to a page that looks like this. As you can see with our deal, you'll get up to 75% off all web hosting plus a free domain, which is super useful. Not only mentioning that, you'll also get three free months plus the $2.99 a month plan. And to top all of this off, you'll get a 30 day money back guarantee, no questions asked. In order to get started with this specific plan, all you have to do is hit the claim deal button right here. Once you hit that, you'll then be taken to the tier options where you can choose which tier you want to go with. While we're here, let's break down the specific differences in each of these tiers and how Hostinger stacks them up. As you can see, the premium tier is gonna be the cheapest tier, sitting at about $2.99 per month. You're gonna be saving about 75% on this overall plan when you go with this, plus those three free months that you get with the deal. As you can see, as far as features are concerned, this is the one plan that has the least amount of features. There's very limited access to things like standard performance, 100 different websites, 100 gigabytes of SSD storage, and weekly backups. What the yellow check marks here mean is that you'll get some access to these, but not full access. Access. For the green check marks, which is what you're going to get full access to, you're going to get things like unlimited free SSL, unlimited bandwidth, free email, and also that free domain that we talked about earlier. Now, unfortunately, you're not going to get access to a lot of things like CDN or dedicated IP address, and you're also going to have a lot of plugins that just aren't going to work. If we go up a tier to the business plan, we're going to get access to a lot more features. As you can see, this claims to have an increased performance of up to 5x, which is pretty impressive. We're also going to be getting access to over 100 different websites with this tier here as well. Not only that, but we're also going from 100 gigabytes of SSD storage all the way up to 200 gigabytes of NVMe storage. For this one, we're also going to get daily backups instead of the weekly backups that we're getting with the basic plan. And we're also going to be getting most of the benefits that you got with the basic plan as well. We're still getting that free domain with this plan. And when it comes to the plugins, we're getting a lot more plugin functionality. As you can see, almost all of these plugins are with a green check mark, which means that they work. Everything except for basic WooCommerce. Now keep in mind, Hostinger also has its own built built-in website builder, which is a big part of the features that you're going to get with the middle business plan. Hostinger's website builder is going to be pretty limited on the basic plan on the left, as you can see, but as the tiers go up, we're going to get full access to all the tools that the website builder gives you. And to pretty much sum things up, the cloud startup plan is $9.99. This is something that you're going to want to use if you're a larger corporation or somebody who just has a more established network of websites or already has a lot of experience doing this. For the sake of this video and what probably most of you are going to want to choose, we're going to go with the most popular option, which is the business plan. In order to get the best possible deal, all we have to do is hit the add to cart button. Once we click the add to cart button, we'll then be taken to the checkout page where we can choose a few different options. The first option it'll make us choose is our payment period, which is basically just how often we're going to have to pay. For this instance, we want to save the most amount of money possible. So we're going to go with the 48 month option, which is going to save us about 480 bucks. Once we've done that, we'll then create a quick account here with an email address and a password. Once we've done that, we'll then select our payment option and then in put our payment details and our personal information. After we've done all of that, you're going to want to use our code at checkout to get the best possible deal. In order to utilize this code, simply scroll down to where it says have a coupon code and click that. Once you've clicked that, you'll then enter in the coupon code my first website, all capitals, no spaces and hit the apply button. Once you hit the apply button, the coupon will be fully applied and you'll be ready to go with getting started with Hostinger. I'll then simply enter in my name and a few of my credit card details and hit the submit secure payment option. And just like 
like that, I'm ready to go with Hostinger. Now, once you've gotten started with Hostinger, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. I'm gonna give you a very brief synopsis of all the functionality of Hostinger, just so that way you guys have a clear understanding of how it works. As you can see, this is the home page. This is where we're gonna see a lot of important information. Things like our hosting plan, our domains, and even our AI website builder. Just to give you guys a quick tour of how the website builder works, it's super easy to use. All we simply do is head over to the websites tab right here, and then hit add new website. We can either pick a WordPress website, a Hostinger website builder, or migrate a current website that we already have. I'll just show you really quick how to use their AI powered website builder because it's super awesome and easy to use. I'll click this and it will then ask me to choose one of my hosting plans. I can then pick whatever hosting plan that I currently have and then I can hit select plan. Once I've done that, it will then take me to the page where I can get started with the website builder itself. This may take a few moments to load. As you can see, we're now on the hosting your website builder page. As you can see, it says let AI create your website in minutes and we simply have to click the start creating button. All I have to do now is enter in my website information and what I want the creator to actually build me in the first place and we can get started. For the brand name here, I'm just going to name it Kyle's Brand. For the website type, I'm then simply going to click the online store option. For the description option, I'm just going to say that I want a techie consulting website. Once I've typed all this out, I can go into further detail if I want to, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to stop here and hit the create a website button. It'll take a few moments to load up, but once it does, as you can see, it has now fully created a full functioning website that is to my specifications. And of course, this is all AI generated, so it's very easy to access and use. As you can see, if we want to edit this website, we simply go up to the top right here, click the edit site button, and we can edit everything on the go simply by double clicking and typing whatever we would like. Now that's pretty much everything there is to know about Hostinger, but let's get into its direct competitor, which is DigitalOcean. Now, one of the cool things about DigitalOcean is that it has most of the same features that Hostinger has, things like a website builder, cloud hosting capabilities, and domain functionality. One of the big draws of DigitalOcean is how many different companies and startups currently use it. Another big benefit is their very wide range of features and their suite of options that you have when it comes to hosting or building a website. Some of the main benefits of this service is that their features are built to be simplistic, meaning that if you're completely brand new to building websites or somebody who just doesn't have a lot of experience, their tools are going to be very easy to use for you. One of the big benefits about DigitalOcean 2 is their affordability. Hostinger is a little bit more expensive, but you are getting a lot of premium features. That being said, DigitalOcean also has quite a few different payment options at their disposal, and they give you quite a bit of flexibility as well. Now, as you can see, this is DigitalOcean's pricing page. And when we start to scroll down, we can just see how many different pricing plans they have that you can utilize. They have an absolute variety of different plans that you can choose from anywhere between $0 to $4 a month, all the way up to $15 to even $12 a month. And again, the main focus here is to only give you exactly what you need when it comes to building your website. Each of these plans has different features that other plans don't, meaning that you don't have to worry about paying that extra fee to get a bunch of features that you'll never use. It's only based on exactly what you need for your exact purpose that you're using it for. And one of the big benefits of this service is that most of these plans are actually zero dollars to get started with in the first place, which can be really helpful if you're just getting started with your website or your online business. DigitalOcean prides itself on the variety of different features that it has. As you can see from their solutions page, you can see that they have AI and machine learning technology, blockchain infrastructure, the ability to create blogs, forums, and even content websites, important data analytics so you can make informed decisions about what to do on your website and how to build it, plus a host of other tools that are really helpful if you're any kind of business that's operating on the internet. Now, when it comes to actually figuring out which of these two services is better and which one I'd recommend using, honestly, it really depends on where you're at in your overall journey of building websites. If you're just getting started with building a website, I'd really recommend checking out Hostinger because they're going to have the easiest to use interface and they're very easy to get started with. Plus, when you use the link down in the description below, you're going to get that much better of a discount as well. When it comes to DigitalOcean, it seems like much more of a complicated service that has a lot more features at its disposal. Because of this, DigitalOcean might be better if you're somebody who already has a pre-established business or an existing website that you want to improve on. Both of these are amazing services and both of them are really great to get started with. If you want to get started with amazing deals, offers, and discounts, make sure to use the link down in our description box below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new videos that we post. And I'll see you guys in the next one.